everybody, we are back from break with more Dungeon of the Mad Mage. When we left the party, they had spent some time planning out what their potential concept for freeing the Horned Sisters was. They ran through a list of plans, and ultimately it seems as if they have decided that they will try out Distraction, or Divine Distraction, I think is what the final call was. Uh, they spent the some time name. discussing things with Karstis, learning a little bit more about uh, the Academy of Dwemer Corps, uh, and then spent the evening resting and working on side projects. It is now the morning of the 28th of Hammer. The day is yours. What would you like to do? We execute the plan. Cool. Okay, so What's the one, first part of the... Okay, there we go. Step one. <laughs> I need to, we need to, um, oh, oh, sorry. Um, also this morning, uh, they received a vague letter from Worm Riddle that was addressed to all students that, uh, that said that the destruction of school property, uh, was a problem and that the individuals responsible for the issue that had been caused during yesterday's exams would be found and punished. Well, it sounds okay. like uh, that Mossy needs to keep low for a bit. What? Mossy didn't do nothing to get out of here. I don't know. He's the one that tore up the freaking tunnel. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't us? Grinded. It, it, it was a Zorn. It's some random ass Zorn. I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wow. Yeah. Well, look, we know the 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 um the loyalty of Bones lies in this order. It is Moss Covered Rock near Stream is first, right? The Skull Takers second, and then the rest of the party, right? <laughs> like. Right. Cloaker above all those, though. No, oh, fair. I don't give a fuck about Cloaker. He's he's neat, but I don't care about him like I care about Mossy. <laughs> um. All right, so we need to go and talk to Peoples. Shall we get buy-in from the sisters before we like organize all this, or what y'all think? Oh, okay. Do that oh. one more time. Sorry, I was thinking. I said, shall we get buy-in from the sisters before we organize all this, or not? Yes, yeah, I think so. Because otherwise they won't know what's going on and when to be doing things. Well, and I mean, also, also really if we get everything in motion and then tell them and they say, fuck it, that's a terrible plan. We tell them to get their things. <laughs> get your things! The uh, first step is to go oh, discuss things the with the sisters. Okay. Um, you guys can head across, head out into the hallway of Dorm Decentia, um, discuss things with the sisters, and uh, there, with a conversation with violence and turbulence, what do you tell them? What's what's the layout? You can give me the shorthand version. Okay, so first I want to find out if either of them can cast non-detection and if they've tried that before. Second. Uh, violence will tell you. Uh, turbulence will say she, she doesn't really mess with uh, abjuration that much. Uh, violence will tell you that she ha has not copied that into her spellbook. Um, but that she has seen it, she could do that um, if if necessary. And obviously they have not tried that because she doesn't have it. Perfect. Okay, so what we tell them is, look, we're going to distract the admins. And then I think you guys should just make a run for it. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean they, could, they could learn it. Uh, like, is, is all four of us going to do the distracting, or, or is there, like, a distraction party and an escort party? Oh, I thought you and Ezra would would escort. Or okay. you, you and Matt, whatever. You and, just not Someone me. Someone is escorting. 
while Bones is distracting Worm Riddle, potentially with someone else, and then a student is distracting Headmaster. Is that the plan still? I am right. fine with escorting, if that's okay. the case. Um, so, I mean, to kind of like spur this conversation forward, Turbulence and Violence uh, will say, you know, if you're distracting people, fine, right? Um, as far as like non-detection goes, they can spend some time in the library this morning working on that, right? Um, did you have a time at which point you were going to do this? Because if they are going to do that, they will need to take some time to do that. Uh, no, we haven't. Uh, we got to we gotta schedule the lesson. Okay, then violence will say, um, you know, I need a couple of hours at least to, to make sure we can find it and do the deed. I mean, we, we got one. Can we, can we lend them our book? That way they can learn it in secret, right? Oh. What do you guys yeah. think about that? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I pull out <laughs> Halister's. Well, it's in my bag. Scorched. So. Oh, yeah. You pull out <laughs> Halister's scorched tome. That's right. I pull it out. But I give it to Ezra to hand it to <laughs> I was going to say, you got you to gotta say it like with that connotation. Okay. Uh, like that. Calm down. Uh. All right, violence will take it and um, say, "All right, I'll have to, I'll have to head to the supply room to get some supplies for it." But I'll get started. Um, Sounds good. And turbulence will will even jump in and she'll be like, "It's not my specialty or anything like that, but I can, I can jot it down and we can have some extra casts." Probably worth it. Okay. Okay. Um, and then once you escape, we've got friends on the next level who can help you along. We need to coordinate with our friends so they don't murder them when they arrive there. Well, I thought I thought Ezra could write them a, a frog letter. A little frog letter. Okay. I can write a frog letter. That's fine. Okay. Um. And, um, yeah, we'll let you know the way. All right. Well, um, let's say meet back up around lunch so you can arrange your plans and then you can tell us, hopefully we'll, we'll be, we should be done by then. Um, and then we can figure out what the exact time frame is. Perfect. Or you can tell us what the time frame is, uh, aim for this afternoon or this evening, I suppose. Assuming we can get our core distraction yeah. within that time. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yes. If we can make it happen today, let's make it happen today. Okay. Fantastic. I'd say, I'd say that. Violence is far more terse. Um, I'm, I'm being very amenable, but violence is very like, <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Great. Violence yes. says, fuck you. Okay. Me, I, guess. I get it. Thanks. Cool. All right. Thanks, V. See you later. V. I would say we <laughs> want to save this lady. She is not very nice for wanting help. Neither like neither it. turbulence nor violence are especially nice people. No. Uh, in in the many interactions that you've had with them at this point, they are both kind of snotty, kind of haughty. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They strike me as like gonna go murder people as soon as we let them free. <laughs> oh, Jeremy, it's the freaking the, the vampire lich situation all over, all over again. Over. Lich, yeah. Yep. Look, Mitch, I think I think I just design everything as it's the it's the lich for the Mitch moment. Yep, lich the Mitch, the lich. Mitch. You gotta you gotta fall lich. for it eventually, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we just did that with the cloaker, right? The cloaker's gonna go down there and like. You also just sent a fucking dragon off as well. <laughs> you say pin something for the for the. Frog folk, but there might not we be any frog folk mercy. left. Do your worst, Jeremy. Yeah, a uh, silver <laughs> dragon would not do that. Um, an emotionally compromised silver dragon might. Yeah, he might do whatever. 
I Jeremy, I will flip this game, table right? and walk away from this game <laughs> if you turn a silver dragon into a... Look. The now look, that's going to be... Here's what the cloaker and silver it, dragon did. Emotional distress can cause even a silver dragon to change its scales. This will cause me emotional distress. So <laughs> Jake will change scales. Good to know I in the future. Know. In the future, if I need to if I need to harm Jake emotionally, I just need to take a a metallic dragon and have it go no, bad. Not metallic. Not oh, a metallic. Just a I don't give a shit. Specifically I don't give a shit about the rest of them. Gotcha. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> silver silver exclusion. Exclusive. Okay. So um what is the 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 twins are prepped they're ready they're gonna go get supplies they're gonna do some work um what is the next course of action step two we need to make sure marta is able to take a lesson okay maybe bring her a couple of healing stuff who sent you who sent you we already secured the uh the personal training thing? Yes. Uh, don't move. Okay. That's way too way too far. Um you already you already secured from Elon Freth that it it is yours when you wish to arrange it. Correct. Okay. Got okay. it. Da, 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 da. Please roll me Bean a one d twelve. Anyone doing it? Do it. Okay. A two. Mm. We die instantly. Which direction do you guys take to get there? North. Mm, west. This, I mean, is, this is specifically for Jay. Because <laughs> West is actually a, a reasonable answer. I mean... <sighs> oh, oh, God! Are you moving us? I am uh, moving you, yes. Okay, good. I'm moving you here. Because as you arrive here... Feel free to arrange yourselves however you need to. As you arrive here, shit happens. Damn, what shit? Do no, I finally get no. off my own his damn mouth? It's doing that thing. I don't know why you hate me, game. All right. As you all are coming or you're approaching the uh, the Medusa statue, out from the water room, you see comes walking. Worm riddle. Oh. With two flesh golems. Oh, um, great. One kind of like plodding just in front of her and the other one following behind. Um, and as okay. soon as she, as soon as the door opens, right? Like you guys are walking down the hallway. The door opens from the water room. Um, ashes, you're hitting the face with just that horrid ah. rot stench ah. um and it's not just the flesh golems right like it rolls off of worm riddle as well and there is a brief moment where she's just like walking and you see her face is just kind of like screwed up in a, like this horribly displeased look and then she realizes that other people are here and she looks up and she sees all of you and she sees bones and initially like her hand like she reaches out to one of the flesh golems and she kind of like like almost hides behind its arm for a moment and looks <laughs> over and 
it's you. All of you. Where were you? I know. I know it's you. See you. That sword. Ah. Sword? It must be you. No one else wields a weapon like that here. Uh, you did it, didn't you? You killed my thing? lovely specimen. I told you it was that thing. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. I mean, yeah, it attacked us. What do you mean? It attacked you. It lies. It was a baby. Yeah, a baby that attacked us. An angry baby, if anything. You ruined an entire class's lesson yesterday. Just get another one. A another one? Another one? Those are not exactly easy to come by, sir. She kind of like hisses at you. And she hides again because she realizes who she's talking to. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just sitting around like that then? It was in a lecture hall. Who just walks into a lecture hall and kills things? It's a school. We're supposed to walk into lecture halls. Not unless there's a class or lecture scheduled. No one said that. I don't that. see a schedule anywhere saying when classes are happening. Well, that's not my fault. That's your fault. That Wait. you don't have a schedule? <laughs> that you don't know the schedule. School. Well, how do I find out the schedule? Well, you're not even a student, so it doesn't matter. So then you can't yell at me for things that students might have done. Shut your face! Shut your face! <laughs> <laughs> she points at Ezra. You're to blame. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Your hooligan friends caused the destruction of school property. It attacked them first. Are you talking Are you back to one of your teachers? No, I'm explaining the situation. Roll a persuasion a check. Back. At disadvantage. No. I'm just immediately going to burn a sword point. Okay. So... I didn't see either roll. So okay. a 30. Alright. Your DC was 42. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> because she's real mad. She she is real mad. What do you say to her in this moment? Uh, I explain. How does Ezra? Uh, yeah. How does Ezra explain this down? Uh, so I explained that that we saw the lecture hall and we were curious. Uh, we were curious at at the the chalkboard that was out there, trying to understand what was going on, and the creature. As we were looking at the lesson plan, trying to understand what was going on from the table, we were assaulted and defended ourselves. Okay. She obviously and put, put the body back where it was, and you know we're we're trying to hid the evidence. <laughs> no. <it wasn't. laughs> He obviously doesn't care about you defending yourself, right? Like that right. is not yeah, that is yeah, not a obviously. that's not a persuasive stance to her. But right. as you you are talking about it, right? Like in the very practical Ezra way, where you're mm -hmm. just explaining each step by step, kind of like almost academically, kind of scenario. And, and and that we've encountered the creatures, so that seemed like useful information and blah blah she blah. She kind of like pauses when you start to explain right that you were were studying the chalkboard right and the the uh the diagram diagram that was there explaining everything like that and putting two and two together from your past experiences with the number of slotty that you have encountered in the past 
right? And for a very brief moment, you see Worm Riddle take on more of the guise of a teacher and actually be like, oh, a student that is actually interested in what was on the chalkboard, right? Like, that's a good thing, right? And you you see her kind of like nodding along as you're kind of like explaining the, the notes that you were taking about the, the different you know, um, evolutionary paths of the slotty and, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then uh, you get to the part where you're like, uh, and then we had it attacked and we had to defend ourselves. And then you see her like scowl again, yep. right? But you've kind of like gotten into her, into her uh, kind of like safe zone, right? Like into her kind of like, oh, <laughs> these are students now, or this is a student in my mind now, mm. rather than these are interlopers as <laughs> this is what she ha has been seeing you all as and probably still sees the rest of your party as, right? But now mm. she's actually identifying you as a student and that changes her demeanor slightly towards you, right? Um, but she still goes, she's still kind of like at the end of it, she's just kind of, it's, it's good that you took interest in the lessons that were being prepared but you you your actions and she kind of like gestures to everyone else when she says you're not you right your mm -hmm. actions ruined that lesson for all of the other students what are you going to do to fix it uh hold on you want the hands back <laughs> oh my god <laughs> What? Is that I, how I you forgot you took that. I entirely <laughs> forgot you took that. I'm hand. not going to lie. I forgot too. <laughs> there is a moment of a, a, just this incredulous look on her face, right? Yeah, fair. And she looks at Bones and she says, I believe you. Destruction and theft. Hey, I killed it fair and square. I was entitled to those hands. You see her face, like, screw up like you're losing her. Look, we needed them for... Because while the creature was dead, there's still things to learn from its remnants. Mm -hmm. See, Bones yeah. uh, needs these kind of things to for, for him to learn to make better bone-based tools and weapons. He does right. bone magic. Ashes. Mm -hmm. I am a purveyor You're of trying to magic. follow that kind of like student path, right? I, I feel you. But you're doing it in reference to the cat man. So, persuasion at disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, fair. Persuasion, yeah, which is a minus one already. Yeah. A four. All right. A four. Yeah. Um, Worm Riddle just looks mm -hmm. at you and she just has this look of disgust. Just like, I can't believe you. Not only are you vile enough to just chop parts of things off for your own personal gain, you're flaunting your theft of school property all in front of everyone. Just you. No, He's... it's in my bag. In my brain, she shifted from this worm-filled, half-dead hag thing to, like, McGonagall. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, was going to say Umbridge. It depends on the moment, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, I mean, but, like, she doesn't seem all that evil. She's just kind of mad at what we did. <laughs> no, she seems evil. I mean, how so? She's a hag. <laughs> As as this uh, typical as this conversation is <laughs> happening, right? Like, and Batashtai is sitting here thinking, huh, mm, huh. He then can see very clearly the two immense flesh golems sewn together oh, yeah. from the various <laughs> parts and pieces of different humanoids. <laughs> Obviously, different humanoids. Imagery fixed. Thank right? you. <laughs> And it comes full circle. So, uh, uh, Wormriddle looks at all of you, right? Um, 
And it's clear, right, like, you've made some strides to kind of, like, assuage the situation, but you're, you're also a little on her shit list, right? That may or may not be because she does seem to be terrified of bones. In this moment, it seems very clear that she still wants to punish you as a student and students um you know adjacent group, adjacent you know crew etc cetera, etc cetera, right like that kind of type of situation but you have a brief moment here where you might be able to guide this situation or you could just let her do something what do you want to do i mean what's she going to do you don't know but it, it's, it seems clear, right? Like, Ezra's kind of, like, talked her down a little bit, but Ashes and Bones have kind of, like, it still have her keyed up. And she she's basically saying, like, you, you, you are going to be punished for what you've done, right? And you have a moment to kind of steer this, or you can just accept whatever punishment she throws at you. I say accept. Of, uh, you can wait for her to throw a punishment at you, is, is what I'm I'm saying. Do we have anything we give her that would be educational in... Um, I don't think I got really anything useful for her. I got some slot hands. I think we already confirmed that that's not going to quite do it. I don't have anything. We could going, give her a soul jar. Immediately. We, wow. we could give her one of the soul jars. Do you think that's wise? No. I mean, I'm down, but do you think it's wise? Not at all. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could... The only thing I have that's, like, slot related is I have the control orb. We could just give that to her if we're not going to use it for anything and be like oh that's a pretty good one that's, that's actually good. a really good idea i mean it also if i show that to her she could be like you stole that too and technically she'd be right she don't know i mean to be fair halister let us into that chamber he did yes he didn't tell us not to take anything he didn't but we still did. <laughs> All right. Well, are you gonna? Are off, you guys gonna do something, or are you going to await Worm Riddle's judgment? I think I'll offer the, the orb. I think that's awesome. All right. Uh, I'm sorry for um, us defending ourselves from the creature that attacked us. That is somehow so school property. Passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Worst <laughs> apology ever. <laughs> but. If you will allow me to replace what we broke with something of equal or better value, and I'll reach in and pull out um, Yurt's uh, troll orb, like here. You pull that out, and every single one of you, because you have insight trained, you see Worm Riddle's reaction, and you immediately understand that she knows exactly what the fuck you just pulled out. <laughs> exactly what you just pulled out, right? Um, mm -hmm. And her eyes, like her eyebrows raise, and you actually see as her eyebrows raise, so too do her eyelids, and they come up over her eyes, and there's a gap oh, there, and oh, you, see, you see maggots begin to kind of like, like weave up over her eyeballs, right? For uh, a brief Jeremy, I, I cast modify memory. And um <laughs> and she looks at you and she says that's is how you go about mending your mistakes. Oh well, she's into yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. She knows what it is, and she wants it. Not excuses. <laughs> not, oh, defended ourselves, this and that. By saying, we did a thing. Here is a thing to replace the thing we did. 
All right. Yeah. I will give, give it here. I will. Give me, give me. <laughs> I, um. As you kind of like approach this, this flesh golem. I, I'm like, breathing through my mouth now. It turns itself not... towards you. And it's, it's turned so slow and just so like plodding. And you, you get up and you can see like the, um, the right clavicle of this thing you can see just through some of the flesh is like half the size of the left clavicle um mm. and it's kind of like it causes this weird like slump yeah of its shoulders and the the arm that is attached to the slumping one kind of like moves up and you can see it's got these huge meaty fingers four of which match, right? The three fingers and the thumb match. The the pointer finger does not match. And you see them all kind of like into one big ham hock of a fist. And it just just sits there, right? As you kind of like approach. What's up? The whole fist is like the size of your head. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> and and worm riddle doesn't like respond to the movements of the flesh golems at all right uh she's just like hey, hey, give me give me right um and she uh, just snatches it out of your hand right just like ha. Ah, yes ah. oh what a wonderful specimen ah nah its owner is already dead. That's unfortunate. Oh, I wonder who would have done that. Jeez. It's not easy to take down a death slot, is it? She eyes wow. you. Wow. Roll wow, me, you have to make a comment. Roll me, roll me an intimidation comment. check. Roll me an intimidation <laughs> check. We know he's it's good at It's charisma, so minus one. 17. Hey, it's, that's yeah, better I, than your persuasion. It, it, I think in the moment, very, like, delivery done well, right? Like, there's obvious connotations with that. Like, oh, who would have taken down a death slot? Hint, hint. Right? And Wormriddle kind of, like, looks at you and she can, like, she kind of, like, sneers at you slightly. <laughs> And then she she kind of keeps looking back at the control orb and she says, It's okay. I can just get a new sample. It'll be even better because we'll be able to experience the evolutionary process. Yeah. Wait, what, what does that mean? Oh, you can actually tie a, a slot, a different slot to a... You know, make, you know, make a new death slot? Yeah, you know how they do that? Have you actually, seen I Alien no before? Orbs are made. Have it's, you seen the yeah. movie Alien before? Oh. Bursters. It will take some time, but I can procure some slotty that are already more advanced. And then we can help them on their way with this. It will be a good lesson for the students. Ezra, you should make yourself available. Although perhaps, and she, she, like, she looks at you, right? Um, and she looks at Ashes specifically. She says, although perhaps this is a lesson you all have already learned. Or advanced past. You have compensated the school for your... Negligence. Oh, that's not what she would say. She would say... Uh, uh, no, it's it's like... Um, um, like when you fucking like... Fuck with school property. Like when you... Vandalism? Vandalism. That's what you get. Yeah, she, she would say vandalism, right? Like, you have compensated the school for your vandalism. I suppose we can let you off the hook with that. But note that your behavior has been marked. Repeat offenses will have more severe punishments. Don't be that kind of student. Yeah, Ezra. Yeah, yes, ma'am. 
glad we were able to make things right. Do you mean that, Ashes? Yes, I do mean that. I'm glad that we are not on bad terms with the teacher. Fair enough. He's 50-50. He's somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. give him being 50-50, though. Yeah. Right? It's the it's the 75-25 that I'm like, roll me a deception <laughs> check, bitch. All right. <laughs> right? Yep. Okay. Um, it is at that point, right? Like, the situation seems to have been resolved. Worm Riddle is here, obviously, if you wanted to converse with her about anything. But she does seem to not like you guys that much at least oh, no. not in the presence of bones who she still is trying to hide from the majority of the time um and hey, find out when next class is. hey when's your next class um she will say i didn't figure she would answer me uh we are done with classes until after midwinter Problematic. Oh, okay. So it's the 28th, oh. 29th, 30th, and then midwinter, Hold so... Right. Essentially four you days. You got any plans for the holiday? Or? We will be throwing a small celebration and encouraging the students to decorate their dorms and the halls outside of them Fitting the customs of their peoples. Okay. It's important to encourage diversity and getting to know one another. And she kind of like smiles and maggots ride through her teeth. Nope. I mean, she seems to take being a teacher pretty seriously. Oh. Yeah, she's a pretty good teacher. That's why she's the vice principal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, true. Okay, cool. Oh. All right, well, I guess we'll see you later. I'm ready to leave. Cool. Awesome. Like, this floor, not... <laughs> I'm ready to get the <laughs> fuck out. <laughs> um... Everyone who has perception trained, uh, as you guys are leaving, uh, roll me a perception check. Perceiving. Can I roll one, Jeremy? You you are welcome to, yes. Less than ideal. But it's okay. Oh, that was better than I That's actually pretty good for you, honestly. <laughs> that's that's solid. Okay. Um Bones is the only one that clocks this. Um and I think it's actually potentially managed. fitting because I think Bones was was one of the ones that um it was either bones or metastai it was one of the ones that uh uh checked yarek's body um but that clavicle that arm you've seen that before man mm. she used the kid's arm it's fucked up Called recycling. <laughs> I mean, I guess I get it. Very nice. Okay. Done there. You're heading to Marta's. Do Ascentia. Yeah. I hate this so much. I I don't know why it does this, but whenever whenever I copy and paste you guys, it fucking like teleports my shit to the bottom left. So fucking weird. Whenever I, like, zoom in sometimes, sometimes it goes completely to a different area of the map and I have to, like, refind. I also, hate it. Mitch, are you... Is Matashtai walking around with the lantern lit, or can I turn that off? Uh, you can turn that off, I think. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and turn that off. All right. Like, I don't Otherwise mind if you're walking around with the lit. Oil. It's just, it's just like a I big old fucking... Oil, yeah. but... Okay. Uh, so you guys are down at Marta's. I'm assuming someone knocky knocky at the door. We knocky knocky. Uh, 
I, I believe there's someone in here that might have a better rapport with her than anybody else. Me? Is it me? It's no. It's definitely you. Uh -oh. No. It's definitely you. <laughs> Just enough in. No. I don't know. Who is it? It's me. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah. Wow. What? I mean, not for you. It's nice for you. I just want to announce for a <laughs> I knock. Announce okay. myself. Um, Presenting. There, there is no immediate response uh, other than a click at the door. I open and enter. Yep. Uh, door opens. Oh, hey, um, and as soon as you enter, right, like, Marta is at her desk. She doesn't even turn to, like, uh, uh, confirm it's you. Um, she's just at her desk, kind of like writing um, in her journal. Nice. Uh, and you can see that a number of the, the there's a little waste basket next to her desk. Um, and there's like, you know, 50 pages that have been ripped out of this diary and thrown into the waste basket basket. Um, and she just says. What can I do for you? How are you feeling? It's early morning. I have yet to have breakfast. And I don't really have anything to do for the next couple of days. Well, we, we uh, might have something for you. Uh, turns. What? Um, we promised her the lesson. So, so we... <laughs> We had mentioned that we had curried favor with the headmaster. And we were going to schedule your training session. She looks at you and her eyes kind of narrow. And like waves her hand. All of you get in here. Close the damn door. Okay. I go in. I close the damn door. Okay. Close the damn door. Um, I jumped in. <laughs> so, uh, a as that happens, right? Like you, uh, you all kind of like file in, close the door, um, and she looks at you, Ezra, right? And she says, "All right, explanation. What is this, and why are you doing it?" We told you we would. We we did promise this to you. Sure. Why? You expressed your interest in... Just to curry my favor? I mean, not we, totally, but... We, we, we have... We, we have some semblance of... Uh, use that we might get out of this, but... We made a promise. Alright. I might accept your offer if I understand all of what's going on behind it. We need him distracted. Why? Uh, for something he doesn't want to see happen. Super vague. Why? There are people that don't want to be here. And he oh my god! Use specifics. Pronouns. Or not pronouns. Freaking say. Sorry. Um, proper, nouns? proper nouns. That's what I was going for. Sorry. <laughs> Violence and look, turbulence. I'll tell her. I don't care. Violence and turbulence. I, I, I immediately looked at Bones for because I didn't know what agreeance was for. All right. They didn't tell me not to tell anyone. They didn't tell me to tell anyone. Hey. So, explanation. <laughs> full sentence. They would like to leave. Apparently they have tried previously and he has interposed himself in their attempted departures. They have asked for um, assistance and we are. So my lesson is distraction. Yes. Well, um, hopefully no, also, your lesson also, also is. Also, we promised it to you. Hopefully your lesson is educational. I'm not saying this from a disparaging point. I'm yes. asking for confirmation so I know what I am attempting to do. Aside yes. no, from yeah. get something from me out of this. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, distraction. 
My he, lesson is distraction. Busy, so he doesn't come looking for them as we try to get him out. I'll buy us time. Do what I can. Bring lots of questions. You're aware that the headmaster can teleport. Yes, we. That's in. We... I've been mid class with the headmaster before, and just. He's we, gone. we have experienced this. Yes, we're hoping. Right. If if you are uh, studious enough, maybe he doesn't hear the ping. All right. Yeah, we heard about all the wards around here, so there's not going to be a way to wards. Yeah, wards. All over the floor. Well, most of the door frames apparently have detection words interesting what if we didn't go through doorways <laughs> I don't know what we that means we could have our Zorn buddy carve us a tunnel that Worm Riddle will get mad that, at us for that, making I was just going to say that sounds like destruction of school <laughs> <Yeah>. property <laughs> <laughs> do we have another control orb somewhere <laughs> we do not we have not killed any other death slotty Oh, that's a shame. Could have sworn I had another one laying around. Anyway, yeah, distraction. All right. I'll just you know, try my in. best. Obviously can't promise anything if the master yeah. decides to bamf out. Not really much I can do. That's perfectly understandable. I hope you, you know... have a plan for when you leave and the headmaster goes, Surprise! Oh, I've I, I've already brought that up. Uh, we're just not going to worry about it. She she does she gives you the same look that I just gave. She, her eyes just she just goes, okay. We we to be are fair, working. I made the assumption uh, that like not going to be concerned about that. <laughs> I, mean, I, I to be fair, I did say there was like a, a a clone of him or another version of him or the real him or something would show up. But I mean, him just teleporting is. Tomato, other tomato. We have chosen not to care. Yeah, we have chosen to not worry ourselves with that bit of information. So, some of us are working on next steps. I mean, if I physically harm him, I could make it so that his teleportation could fail. She looks at you and, and she's like, I didn't hear that. I'm not a part of that part of the plan, okay? That isn't a part of the plan. You are fine. He's just Are you just sure? Posting. She looks at you as are you sure that's not a part of the plan? Yes, I am that's sure. Because that's a suicidal is, part of the plan. He, he it's not, is not part of the plan. Boasting because he found his new ability and he is excited <laughs> to try it. Uh, <laughs> He's like a she, kid with a new she's toy. She's looking between ashes and bones now because bones popped off as well, right? Just like... That's bones. You're going to get yourselves He's killed. Bones. You... I mean, that's true, but not on this floor. Well, I maybe on the floor. It depends. I mean, maybe, but not on this floor. Something we've also just decided to not concern ourselves with. You do, re you do realize what we're doing. I feel like we told you this. It is one thing to trick or con or distract or whatever but attacking the mad mage is a is signing your own death warrant no yeah, unless he thinks it's fun or if that's not the mad mage I was gonna say it but then I was like yeah we wanted to be invested in the dang lesson dummy no, I'm joking. Uh, I I also want to glance at her Hallister portrait. What what is it mm. looking like? Her Hallister portrait looks pensive. <laughs> uh, her Hallister portrait is wearing an expression of mild disgust, just a slightly curled lip.
He's disappointed she lost her demon friend. You think so? Maybe. Probably. She she does look at you, Ezra, though, as you were the one to kind of, like, say. Um, and mm -hmm. she's like, what do you mean? I don't have anything substantial, but we have encountered um, what seems like different versions of the Mad Mage. And yeah, we don't think that's him, at least not all the time. Also, the one running around here smells of, uh, was it brimstone? Was it brimstone? Yes. Or is it sulfur? Just, one was sulfur, one was brimstone. Right? Sulfur. Sulfur they're, is brimstone. Sulfur. Brimstone they're, they're is one sulfur. The same. Yeah. And uh that more in that more falls in line with uh the one of my uh heritage. She kinda Infernal. she kinda like takes this all in, right? Um Ezra's initial kind of like explanation, Bones kind of jumping in, Ash is jumping in. Um, and she just kind of like nods along with him and just says, All right. Interesting. Okay. When's the, when's this lesson happening? We are working on the time and date. We just want to give you a heads up. Then make sure you're still interested. Sign me up. We Worst case you know. scenario. I get part of a lesson and then you fight a baby, not Halister. I mean, I would like that to not be the alternative, but you're not wrong. <laughs> I did say worst case scenario. Well, I guess technically things I feel could like get that's worse. Not, yeah, I was going to say that doesn't feel medium like... case scenario, actually. Medium case scenario. You're a bundle of joy, aren't you? Well, yeah. He really is. I watched him cut off hands from a slotty the other day. That was like... you all? Everybody why why am I not surprised? Of course it was you all. Of course it was. You know how big a stink they made of that yesterday morning? I, mean, I got a letter an about it this this morning. Yeah, I it, was, it, was a, it was an email to all. We've already we've already um... made amends. Yeah. Of course you have. As yeah. quickly as you fuck up and make people mad, you immediately fix it. That's the best thing about you. <laughs> really, that's well, the you. best thing. I don't really know you well enough to say the good things and bad things about you all, so for now, yeah, I'm just going to say that's the best thing about you. I will I take it. All right. I feel as if every moment you are in my presence compounds the headache that is building within me. So... We shall leave you be, then. Cool. Let me know about the thing. Yes. Will do. Uh, it may be a notice from Elon. Of course it might. <laughs> to be fair, you were kind of fawning over him for a while. Well, so. she wasn't. She just, she just gives you this, like, what the fuck look. I mean, it wasn't you, I get that. I was referring to the fact that it seems as if you all have your fingers in every single jar you see in sight. Yeah. Most, most not all. I mean, what's the point of a jar if you're not going to put your hand in it? True. All right, putting your hands in jars is filthy. Use a utensil, you animal. Yeah, animal, metastai. He is an alien Why waste after all. They have, good spoon they have slash fork customs. slash thing. I 
Has that mm -hmm. is that Matashtai's legitimate defense? Yes. <laughs> she just like shakes her head in disgust at you. She just I'm not, not even to dignify that with a response. <laughs> and thank you. You will be uh, notified of the appointment. Headache. Building. <laughs> Chewing. Chewing. Go on. As she shoes you out, right? Uh, you do hear her kind of sigh as you all begin to leave. Damn, is it because she misses us already? No. But this is the fun part of all of you having insight trained. Is I get to I get to repeatedly be like, "Oh, you all have insight trained." That interaction with Marta Moonshadow was the most civil interaction that you have had with her Ever? since you rescued her from the third level of the dungeon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she, was she was responsive. She was exasperated by you, right? But she was also sassy, right? She was incredulous. She had a range of emotions. It wasn't just hate or utter exhaustion, right? You know? Or drow. Exactly, right? So, um, while, while she is somewhat, uh, Annoyed by us? Maybe annoyed, just exhausted by by the crazy shenanigans that you guys get up to, right? She is still interacting with you in a manner that is livelier than you have seen her for a while. That feels normal? Yeah, absolutely. A sense of normalcy has returned. Absolutely. You exit her chambers, well, the door closes behind you. And you are headed where? To Elon. Well, that is right down the fucking hallway. Well, if he's right there, yeah. We planned it perfectly. Okay. It is the last door on the left. Um, and as you approach, uh, both... But Tashtai and Bones, do note in the seam of the doorway, top right oh, seam, a there's this teensy tiny itty bitty little spider. Mmm, spider you familiars. Know. Nice. I, I wave at the spider. Or it's him transfigured into a spider. That's too big brain for Matt. Uh, the teeny weensy itty bitty little spider raises one um uh leg and kind of like waves back at you. I I like I poke bones like look, wave back. That's can, can we talk to Elon? I don't know. Knock. There's a click at the door. <laughs> I open the door. Uh, you find, uh, as you open the door, uh, you see Elon Freth uh, sitting at a desk with a big mirror in front of it, um, and he's putting himself together. Uh, this is the first time you guys have been in Elon. That is correct. Uh, Elon's chamber. Um, the furnishings of this room are actually pretty nice, right? Um, uh, relatively clean. Um, there is um, kind of like a, a, a desk rather than just being a regular like writing desk. Has a mirror attached to it. Uh, has some like... Uh, um, um, and like little shelves or little like uh, uh, baskets and things like that of, of various like cosmetics and uh, hygiene products and things like that. Um, and there is a uh, a little like um, 
shrine off to the side, right? Uh, that has a couple of pieces of iconography I'm not sure that you guys would be familiar with. Uh, let me... Um, actually, I think, uh, Ashes, you might be the one who, who this kind of, like, means for specifically. Uh, because the, the figures that are on the shrine and a lot of the way, uh, a lot of the symbology on the shrine itself reminds you a lot of, uh, Salune's temple, right? Of the, the... The moon. Is that sounds right, yeah. I would have to double check. A lot of, yes, a lot of, the moon maiden is number star. two on the list. Our Lady of Silver being uh, the number one. Um, okay, so uh, there are a couple of like uh, pieces of iconography and symbology and things like that that look akin to that. But you identify they that is not what this little shrine is to, right? Okay. Um, you are not familiar with what uh, actually. Do you have does this is this is the this is the trade off if I remember correctly for everyone having insight trained. None of you have religion trained, right? Correct. I don't uh, think so. Okay. Dad was the religious one. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Nope. That's. That's the trade-off. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Ashes. Uh, the iconography does kind of like strike you as familiar, but that is definitely not Salune's stuff. The those are not those are not little statuettes of Salune. That's not the right. Um, it's not the right stuff. But it is something moon oriented. All right. Okay. So. Uh, portrait check. Uh, portrait check. Yes, yes, yes. In a momento. Uh, let me get back to Elon's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, scenario. Um, yeah, yeah. The portrait of Halister. So, uh, aside from the desk and this little shrine, um, Elon's bed is also... Um, it's the same bed, but Elon has like an extra quilt and a, a fluffy pillow, right? And things like that. So, everything here just feels like a little bit more extravagant than some of the other rooms that you've seen, right? Um, Elon's portrait of Halister, um, the portrait just looks... Okay, boy. It just looks suspicious. Like it's like looking around the room suspiciously. But yeah, anyways. Uh, Elon kind of like uh, the door opens. You all kind of like file in. Uh, take this in. Um, Elon turns um, and is at uh, at this um, basically like a powder desk, right? Um, putting himself together, has been brushing his hair, has uh, some like uh, some sort of like cream of some sort on his face, and he's kind of like he turns. He says, "You're here very early in the morning." What's that cream do? <laughs> it makes my skin soft and keeps me from having blemishes. Hmm. That's right. I mean, <laughs> I suppose a little bit, but it's fairly expensive. Come here. He kind of like motions I, you down. I, I pull out a sack of money. Like how expensive? Oh no, yeah. no, 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 not that expensive. Just don't get used to it unless you know. Anyways, yeah, okay. he kind of like thing. he dabs his finger <laughs> and he kind of like brushes some on like one cheek, and it's it's moisturizer basically. Hmm. Nice. All right, well, I kinda... which I think I don't know I don't know how well Matashtai keeps himself put together, so I don't know if moisturizer is just like extravagance to Matashtai. I kind of feel like it. I kind of feel like Matashtai's humble country folk. Kind of scenario, yeah, it is, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe Matasha's like, actually, I love to moisturize. Um, 
I think we can safely assume Matt has never moisturized, but maybe he'll start. Nice. Uh, it's pleasant, right? It has a it has a pleasant texture. Uh, there is a pleasant fragrance that comes from it. Um, actually, there's a bunch of pleasant fragrances that come from various different That's items vanilla. on Elon's. Uh, actually, it's lavender, but mm, lavender. Yeah. Because it's always lavender. It's always lavender. Right. Like, when someone's like, oh, there's a pleasant scent in this D&D fantasy verse, it's always lavender. True. He makes... Anyways, uh, Elon is a little distracted with that, but he's like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, what's... What's up? I just came for the moisturizer, so... You came specifically to my room <laughs> for the moisturizer that you weren't aware of I had until you walked into my room. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Come on, um, me impressed by your clairvoyance, Matashtai. I did not Bones, peg you for a divination master. Bones was kind of taking the lead on this, but he appears to um, be stroking out right now, standing next to us. So... Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess um so we uh are working on trying to get um turbulence and violence out of Dwemer Core. And we need your help. Elon's just like What? Okay. No, okay, sure. What 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 am I doing? Uh that lesson with Halister from Mar Oh. I don't even have to do anything extra. I'm already in it. Awesome. <laughs> just uh, just need you to go ahead and uh, get that on the books, so to speak. Okay. Well, easy enough. Uh, when? If it matters? Does it matter? Hey, I, I poke bones and stroking body again. Um, I don't remember when the timeline was. Did we decide on a timeline? <laughs> sooner rather than later. Uh, uh, sooner rather than later. Today? Uh, this evening at the earliest? Yeah, say evening. Otherwise, we might not be able to get everything aligned fast enough. Ooh, everything aligned. What else are we aligning? Um... Yeah, what else are we aligning? I'm Bits and bobs. super interested. It, it made Bits the plan sound much more elaborate if I said that. I... Being <laughs> coy, how rude. I mean, if you I'm being bring coy, me I into your plot you and then you're and coy you. with me? I, I'm not being coy. I don't honestly. Uh, he's talking yeah, to Ezra. Ezra. Coy. He's, he's talking <laughs> to Ezra. Ezra's the oh. one over there being coy. Ezra doesn't like to relinquish other secrets. Well, I already owed you the lesson, so it's not like I'm going to renege on that anyways. So just let me know when, and I'll have it arranged. I think the headmaster is, I mean, free for the next couple of days. We're done with classes until after midwinter. So probably I would assume we can schedule it for just about whenever. I mean, this ev evening would be perfect. Okay. Well, I'll reach out. Um, is there a time that time or a place I can get in touch with you? I can send a, a message to your a message to your room if need be. That should be fine, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will uh, after I finish putting myself together and getting a bite of breakfast. I will go see the headmaster and uh, get something arranged, hopefully for this evening, um, and then uh, send you confirmation to your dormitory. Uh, also, if you could uh, notify Marta of the appointment, that would be wonderful. I will send you both missives of the appropriate time. Thank you. Matchmaker. <laughs> Wonderful. Also, uh, knowing that it's not, I will kind of gesture to his shrine and be like, Salune? Uh, no. 
He oh. kind of like looks at you and he smiles. Uh, how are how obvious are you being, or are you trying to actually disguise your your um, inquiry? Well, I might know it's not, but I mean that's the that's just the right. Way like I'm that's kind of the that's, that's the foot in the door scenario, right? Yeah. But like yeah. if you're if you're trying to honestly be like, oh, like... I thought it was Salune, right? Like then that would be a deception check. But if it's if you're not, then you know it's like, oh. I see you're trying to just broach the subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my house... My house and their affiliates follow Elistre. Elistre? Elistre? I That's damn you, D&D. <laughs> Alice try ye. Alice try ye. The, the, the one everybody knows. It's, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in fucking chat so everyone has to deal with this. Y'all should follow That's, that's easy, how the say. wiki says that's pronounced. Wow. Isle is try ye. is try ye. Right? Well, Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Uh, mark that down on the list of gods I will never worship. <laughs> right? Um, I would say uh, Ezra uh, being trained in history obviously is aware of the name. Um, I would say is anyone else? None of you are trained in religion. Any, anyone else trained in history? Ah, uh, uh, Okay, dumb. Bones is. So I would say <laughs> Ezra and Bones, right, are at least familiar with that name as being one of the gods of the Dark Saladrin, the, the Dark Elf Pantheon, right? Um, you can both well, roll. I, roll. I wouldn't name I don't know nothing about elves. Uh, I mean, you. there are still elves in Aber, right? So, like, you're oh, still God. you're still aware of them, right? I think very specifically there are not. In Aber? Are there not? I think so. They have like an elf ban. There's just like no elves. I don't know. Genocide. It's like all dwarves and dragons. Oh, oh okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> That's the thing. Elves it's... and fey creatures were almost unheard of in Aber. However, drow are known to inhabit its underdark. So... Um, that's perfect. So you would actually still potentially know about the basics of Drow, um, with your history. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ezra, roll me a history check as well. I can't roll on that one. I, I'm aware. I just think it's funny every time you do and you get a 15 anyways. 26. You know? Does it make you feel better if I tell you I rolled a natural 18? I mean, no, not really. Just a 26 is the high. Holy shit. Um, so, Bones, you're just at least familiar with, like, the name. Uh, Ezra, you are more familiar, one of, probably one of your random research tirades, right? Where you're just like, oh, this is interesting. Let's read about this. Uh, Illustrate, uh, or Illustrate. Fucking that name. <laughs> My god. Nailed um, it. I mean, it's... just say it three times real fast. No. And then you'll I, be good. <laughs> I refuse. Uh, um, the Dark Maiden, as she is also known, is... Uh, uh, is actually... Historically known as one of the, if not the only, okay gods of the Dark Saladrin. Right? Um, she is the daughter of Karelin and Arashni, who is also known as Lolth, right? Oh! And oh! when the split happened, when the war between the Dark Saladrin and the, the Saladrin happened, um, when, when the Dark Saladrin were banished, and the Dark Elves basically created, uh, Isla Shrai 
went with them willingly because she she prophesied that the dark elves would one day need her light. So she is kind of like the redemption arc of the dark elves potentially. Very interesting. interesting. Hmm. And so Elon basically in this in this very brief conversation with Ashes, Elon mm -hmm. um kind of says my my family worships uh the dark maiden they've made it a, a habit or a i don't know she's one of the reasons why we are here obsidia was once a temple to her um my people fled here after the tumultuous events years past or not a few years past, it would have been like a year past. And uh, things have not been going especially well for them. I don't even know why I have this shrine. I'm not especially... I don't practice much, but... I mean, heritage maybe, you know, just... It's comforting. Also, yeah. it's very pretty. I'll give you that. <laughs> Yeah. Also, uh, thanks for sharing. It's just, you know, nice to hear a lot of gods in our world, so can't say I actually heard that one before, so it's cool. As you said, a there's a lot. Say, I, Almost I, I, too many. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. If only there was, like, out. some kind of plague against spells that directly affected the gods. <laughs> That's Elon looks at you like, are you making a joke? Yeah, it was, it was, yeah. Sorry, it's. I got. I've got a, like a minus one charisma. Don't worry about it. And as Tiara is making him realize things of past, future, and present, the spell plague is no joking matter. Yeah. Well, neither yeah. is the Hindenburg, but we make jokes about that all the time. Jesus Christ. Like I said, past, future, and present. Take this tiara off this man. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> oh, the diadem. <laughs> a diadem right. is a type of... Yeah. Tiara. Might as well, yeah, right? Yeah. A, little, a little column A, a little column B. All right. Elon um, has a course of action. Prepped and ready to go. Uh, is not going to kick you out like Martha. Elon's fine to just sit and chit chat for ever, right? Um, um, how much did you hear at the beginning, Zach, about what the plan is? Oh, I was pooping. So I um, understand. Pooping? Uh, so, so at earliest, he'll plan for the session to take place this evening. He will notify both us and Marta of the scheduled appointment. And okay. yeah. Then Hell we yeah. go. All right. What's the next step? Uh, Let's go chill. Have breakfast. Okay. I want some pig in the blanket. Let's plan to head to the kitchen and have some breakfast. Sure. Yeah. Some breakfast. Some right. breakfast. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I wouldn't mind killing Nihilus if he gets Arcee with us. I mean... Just, just specifically if he gets Arcee. Let's... Look, well, he, they got mad at us for killing, you know, a, a, a slide. If we kill a student, we're gonna have problems. I think we actually have less problems killing a student than we had for killing the slotty. <laughs> oh, for sure less problems. <laughs> and, and also, we shouldn't attack... Nihilus until Matt turns his lantern on so those will o wisps don't fuck our world up. Mm -hmm. Alright. Are we like standing right outside his door? No, you, I, I I've teleported you guys to the kitchen. So you 
you, after the conversation ends with Elon, um, or actually, in point of fact, Elon is heading to get breakfast anyway, so you can continue this conversation on your way to the kitchen. Uh, you spend some time in the dining room. Um, Elon actually grabs some food to go because he's got some errands to run, and then we'll be heading by Elon, the Elon, headmaster. Elon, try one of these. Elon, Elon, try one of these. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sausage wrap with a pancake. It, it's okay. I it's, give him a, I give him a. it's great. Thank you for introducing this into my life. You're welcome. Um, I value you as a friend. Roll me an insight check. He's a vegetarian. Bane. This is not the first time that he has encountered sausage or meat of a type stuffed into a rolled bread item. <laughs> so he's yeah, kind of like, this, this is revolutionary. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. However, he's it? not he's not being he's not being disingenuous when he's saying that it's good. Right. That's fine. I take the comment where I can get it. Fair enough. All right. Uh, and then he pops off. Uh, you guys um, eat or break your fast in the dining hall. You see a number of other students come and go. Um, most of them filter in. It seems um, there are very few students that actually sit and eat in the dining hall. Most of them come, get something, and leave, right? Um, but uh, if you want to try to flag someone down, you are free to do so. Um, otherwise you can just pass the time or you can move on to something else. Uh, uh, after, after breaking your fast, is there something that you guys would like to do? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Is it just wait? Do you want to go back to the room and just wait for a notification from, uh, Elon? Yeah. Well, I do. Well, I, and we're also expecting to meet... The twins at noon in their room? What was the meeting place for that? Um, I, I don't think we discussed it, or... but you guys can retcon where whatever location you would want there. Um, your rooms are right across from each other, so that was kind of my right. assumption. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to uh, Ezra's room and chillax. Okay. So, hey guys, I've been thinking, uh, hold on. Before we pass time, once we get to Ezra's room, I got something else. Hey guys, I've been thinking. I've been thinking. Uh huh. There was uh, that one thing with the helmet, right? And it was like taking messages. Do you think it's taking messages for Halister? Didn't it say it was taking messages? Like, oh, he's not here. The, the little one eyed guy? Yeah. Oh, the, oh, the secretary. Oh, the secretary. I couldn't remember if we knew it was the secretary or not. The sounds like probably secretary, but I couldn't remember where I heard that. I assume the Nothic is a secretary for the actual Mad Mage, not for the headmaster. Mm. I don't remember if it referred to itself as the secretary for the headmaster, though. I just heard secretary. Yeah, I'm making an assumption, maybe. But he said he's not here. Because I would have expected the secretary to be, uh, you know, stationed outside of the headmaster's The outfit. door was also labeled secretary. Is where you guys oh, would have okay. seen the secretary. There. The door to that creature's room was labeled secretary. Right. But that also wasn't outside of the headmaster's office, so that makes me mm. suspicious. Yeah, okay. Was where where was this we... line of inquiry going, though, Bones? Because you just kind of, like, popped off with it. Well, well, my thought was, um, you know, he's going to have the lesson that'll have, keep him, you know, a little distracted. But if it's, like, a secretary, what if we bombarded it with messages? And, yeah. Oh, and be to... like, <laughs> it's giving too many fucking messages to get through. <laughs> yeah, he tried to pass all these messages to him, and he gets freaked out. Like a real secretary. Well, like, so here's the question, though. Do we think that he's giving messages to the headmaster or to real Hallister? I have no fucking idea. Because well, and, and, if he's giving it to real Hallister, I don't think real Hallister is the one stopping 
the twins from escaping. Okay, here's the question. I, I also want to call out... Harry? No. I also want to call out <laughs> the idea that arcane wards and their warning are likely going to be a different tone or sound or alert than a message being passed on or any of that nature. So regardless, if if he's got a tone set to the twins walking through a ward, he's going to hear that tone and know shit. that tone. I mean, he's a mad mage. This I seems fucking it. like Alistair madness. the Mad Mage is really just like a teenager with a cell phone. <laughs> in the in the early two thousands, when nobody had their yeah, phones, just absolutely. entirely set on vibrate, right? Like downloading like different yeah. text tones for like every yeah. single person in your contact list, paying, paying a dollar a uh, ringtone. Absolutely. And... Oh, yeah. Way. All right. Well, that's a non-starter. I mean, from an Ar Ar Arcana perspective, it is likely that regardless of what we attempt to flood him with, he is potentially attuned to his wards pinging at a different frequency. It It's not a bad idea, I just want to make it clear. My that question is, is, how are you flooding him? With I, water. I, I hadn't got that far. Okay. With water. <laughs> yeah, if we waterboard the secretary, I mean, waterboard the <laughs> secretary. Jesus, <laughs> dear lord, this got dark real quick. Uh, just what saying, crap. waterboard the secretary. Jeez, and, uh, Zach's Zach just wants to kill a Nothic at this point. What if we kill him? No. Well, we can waterboard him. What? Uh. <laughs> But All right, hear me uh, out. What if we still merge? <laughs> so your your journey around the uh, perimeter of Dwemer Core and to get some you, you meet with um, you meet with violence and turbulence early on the morning. You have a run in with uh, Worm Riddle. You go meet Marta. You go meet Elon. You go break your fast. All of that takes you maybe an hour and a half. Right? And then you're back in um, in Ezra's room. And then before another 30 minutes go by, you hear a shh, that scraping sound and a thunk um, into Ezra's chambers, right? Where uh, it doo -doo 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 comes from uh, it comes from the reading niche, actually. Is where it is marked. Um, and the where's the... huh? Where's the reading niche? That's the uh, place to the west and north. Oh, the place where we found, saw Spite and what's her face the first yep. time. Yep. Okay. So it comes right. from there, uh, because you guys have seen like there's not there's not a like to all of the other students' rooms, um tube in all of the other students rooms right you know so the this uh message sending system is not like the smoothest but it, it is what it is anyway sounds about right Awful, um, of course uh but you get a message a message from elon um saying that uh he's he has spoken with the headmaster and the headmaster will be providing a private conjuration lesson to Marta at 6 p.m. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So it goes down at 6.02 p.m. It is approximately 10 a.m. All right, well, hey, you guys want to decorate Ezra's door? You know, like, get into no. holiday spirit? <laughs> Seems like a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. What holiday? Yeah. Wait, wait, what holiday? Midwinter. Winter fell. Midwinter. Winter fell. Winter fell. Midwinter. Something came out. <laughs> yeah, mid it's it's midwinter. Winter mid midwinter in uh at the 28th, end of the 29th, month. 30th, four days. What's winter fell oh. from? Winter, winter fell, fell from Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> from Game of Thrones. <laughs> 
Game of Thrones. From Game of Thrones. It's from Game of Thrones, guys. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, I've I've heard it's from House of Dra House of the Dragon. <laughs> uh, technically, yeah, as well. I mean, to be mm. fair, it does take place sooner. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair. Yeah. No, we are not decorating this door. All right, so I'm so guys, not. I'm going to go walk decorate. around and I'm going to close the door behind me. <laughs> yeah. You just hear Hello? a cash die out there fucking decorating the, the door. I really want to decorate the door. I mean, you guys do you. I think it's important oh. that we decorate the door. We really have nothing else to do. I decorate the door. Yeah, I'm going to go to one of the many supply closets and get like tinsel and the green many paper. supply closets. You see like one supply closet. Yeah, there's the one supply closet. Oh, I thought you said the many supply closets. I did say many, but I meant the one. Okay, gotcha. All right. He was trying to pull a fast one. There's a journey to the supply closet. For... Uh, isn't that the one where we need express written consent from the headmaster? Yes. I go and try and find the headmaster. Okay. Roll me an investigation check. Uh, okay. Uh, it's uh, this button. I rolled a natural That's 16. That's an intimidation check? It's the same roll. Is it the same roll? <laughs> nice. Yes. Uh... Okay. Um But you are correct. <laughs> you are trying to intimidate the headmaster. I'm that trying you to have intimidate not the location of the headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> intimidate the headmaster into appearing. You're like, you better be around this corner. Um How how uh how dogged is Bones in his pursuit? How how long is Bones willing to try to find spend trying to find the headmaster? You have yeah, roughly you, you have roughly seven hours. Hey, it's not just Bones. Matt's are you, Matt's with me, right? We're we're both getting supplies. Matt, Matt, I'm also getting supplies. Okay. It takes you guys a a cool hour and a half of going to the headmaster's office. There's no response there. Wandering around, right? Can't find any anybody. Can't find anybody. Can't find anybody. And and then all of a sudden finding the headmaster um outside of the kitchen heading northeast. So hey. Hello. Hey, we want we want we want to get supplies to decorate the dorm. Can you write us a Permission slip for the supply closet. I, I don't remember what it was called. You're actually asking for a permission slip? It said you needed written permission to get stuff. And you're actually following the rules. Trying <laughs> yeah. to? I'm a dedicated student. I'm dedicated to this institution. And it's very foundry in rules. Very foundational rules. Mild shock. <laughs> pulls out a pulls out a pad, scribbles on it real quick, rips it off, hands it to you. Only mild shock. <laughs> he doesn't understand. What does it say? What what does it give me permission to get? It says can use supply closet. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay, cool. Like, yeah. And now the Thanks. supply closet's going to be empty <laughs> the next <laughs> time <empty>. coming. <laughs> right? How much does all the contents of the supply closet weigh? <laughs> that was pretty heavy. I don't... Spellbooks okay. are like five pounds a pop or something like that. Try your luck. See what happens. No, I'm not going to steal everything. I just want to decorate <laughs> the door. He'll okay. leave one spellbook. The uh, the headmaster bounces. All right, uh, see you later. You Thanks. all are, or you're able to head to the supply closet. Um, what are right, you looking for? What are you trying to uh, get? I don't know. What is when is midwinter like? Fucking Christmas. Uh, 
Not quite. It's Here, more me... winter solstice, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is specifically the winter solstice. Okay, well then I guess like, I don't know, whites and silvers and like stuff to make snowflakes. All right, midwinter is a very different thing for different cultures, right? So what might be more familiar for you all, actually in point of fact, this is going to be this is going to be a little strange. Um Ashes and Ezra probably have a you know, a similar concept of midwinter because they have I'm the concept neither of us are there or can right. They have a concept <laughs> of a sword coast midwinter, right? Like a a um classical kind of like Ooh, what what would we go for? It it is probably not quite like um uh Last last sheaf is more of a Christmas scenario. That's where the, you give gifts and things like that, right? Um, Midwinter is more of like the in in uh, Sword Coast scenarios. It's more of like the survival of winter, right? Like it's in theory halfway through through winter, um, and it's celebrating kind of like the the you know hardship and the success of surviving through the winter um but it's it's more in like a a hopeful connotation right because you're not done yet kind of scenario um i would say for bones specifically um and this is partially due to your background but also partially due to your emerald enclave ties um, one of the more popular things that'll happen in a place like uh, Waterdeep is that they'll do they'll do celebrations to Lyra, and Lyra is a goddess of joy, right? Um, but a lot of druids will like they'll spawn plants and flowers and things like that in kind of like a, and it's intended to be like an uplifting note to the masses to write like. This is what this is what is on the other end of winter, right? Like we're making it through, keep keep it up kind of concept, right? Like that type of scenario. Um, I have no idea what Matashtai's version of there would absolutely be a version of Midwinter in Adar in from Eberron, right? Where Matashtai is from, but I have no idea. So. Mitch, if you have ideas on that, by all means, hit me up. Um, but right, then, in that note, what I want is some plant stands and some succulents. <laughs> you, the closest you're gonna get is construction paper to make some pictures of plant stands and succulents. This is bullshit. It's a supply closet for a school. You're going to find, like, paper and glue and scissors and quills and ink and shit like that. You're not going to find a plants. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not happy. What the fuck? What, scissors, paper, and glue is enough to, like, oh, cut our own, like, starf? No, right. I got a little distracted there. What, what is your plan that you want to put on there? Oh, I'm going to put plants, because that's what it means to me. What was the assignment? <laughs> Decorate your door for midwinter. What what does plants mean to you? Oh, midwinter plants mean midwinter to you? It's about hope. It's the the other side of winter, right? Like uh Oh right, right, right. okay. Yeah. Uh um, it's it midwinter's a weird holiday in in D and D, just throwing it out there. <laughs> I, here's here's from a from a back scenes kind of scenario. Midwinter has way more stuff for bad people celebrations. Like there are there's way more stuff for like Lodiger, the Dark Saladrin, for a lot of like more evil. Um, scenarios. Oh, I will say, I will say this. Um, another thing that uh, some of you uh, 
Um, uh, I think Ezra and uh, Ashes would probably know uh, more specifically is uh, uh, people do like ice skating and things like that um, uh, for midwinter. There's a lot of like um, that type of activity. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. <laughs> Um, and that's in that's in kind of like celebration of Aurel, who is like the um, one of the the deity of cold, right? Anyway, sorry, I interrupted there. I apologize. Continue. So you want to make plants? I don't know what midwinter means to me. Um, that's you. It's fine. Comes. It doesn't have to be. Think of it as a think of it as a potential assignment for for Mitch for the next week. Um, so, Bones and Matashtai at least are going to spend some time decorating uh, Ezra's door and the hallway immediately outside of it for oh. Midwinter, right? <laughs> um, I think this just like looks some shit up. Um, and then uh, obviously, right? Like you guys have hours to kill. So if you mm. if you so choose, you can just, you know, kind of like hand wave the time and that's perfectly fine. Or you can you can go get involved in other things. You can explore some classrooms. You can get into to a ruckus. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Um, I choose ruckus. You choose ruckus. Mm. Or choose I'd like ruckus. to get a ruckus, please. A ruckus. Um, all right. Well, yeah, you guys know where you can find Arrakis. You 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 got I you got options there. You got two you know where to find Arrakis? Yes, yes, the planet Arrakis specifically. Oh god, we're gonna go deal with some sandworms. I mean not the first time we've dealt with what's basically sandworms in our group. So That's fair. you know. Praise Shai Halud. So um, I guess, like, go ahead. I was about to say, the only thing I can really think of is, like, literally just explore more of the floor. Aside from that, I'm all right with, um... Uh... Well, things you guys have talked about previously, right? Explore more of the floor. That is an option. Um, classes are an option. Right, like you bandied back and forth about that. If Ezra wants to actually go spend some time in a class, technically the classes are done, right? But you've also heard, I mean, you classes are done, except half the teachers are locked in their classrooms, basically. So, you know, classes are quote unquote done, right? Um, in theory, we could awaken Marambra for a firefight. If right, we like you could do that, something like that. You could go good. visit Nestor um, and try to do things. You could go visit Professor Bring and do things. You could go uh, visit Professor Figment what? and do things. Is really as far as like classrooms go, the only ones that seem to be de duds are um, conjuration, abjuration, enchantment, transmutation. Right, because um, those are the headmaster and worm riddles. Right. Um, so yeah, those yeah. are all options. Um, well, sorry. In a 12 month calendar. What num What number are we in right now? Number one. Okay. January. Yeah, you guys are in, in the January. <laughs> and what's the date again? Uh, 28th. It's the 28th. The 28th. And the winter solstice is at the end of the month. Damn, would have been cooler if we were in December. But why? Because the 26th through the 28th of December in Everall is known as um, in that Hammerfall? Long Shadows. And it's a period of three nights where darkness and dark magic is especially powerful. So families spend the three days hold up in their homes together. Um, so it's like the purge. Got it. <laughs> basically, because then um, dark practitioners use this time to go out and practice their arts. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it is the, the purge. dark arts. <laughs> wow. Sounds like the purge to me. 
Hmm. Interesting. All right. So, um, you guys have a plan put together. You have a time frame right now um, at which to execute the plan. The, the, the twins escape plan. And um, you have some free time to kill in between now and then. So when we convene next week for more uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage, we'll see how that all operates. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. That's going to be the end of our session. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.